You are looking at the most powerful Android handheld ever released, the AYN Odin 3. It has the cutting-edge Snapdragon 8 Elite chip, a gorgeous 120Hz AMOLED screen, and the power to run games that, until now, were impossible on Android. But beneath the hype, AYN has laid a trap, a single, crucial hardware choice that turns the base model into a disappointing experience, all to push you toward the more expensive version. The question is, is this $70 upgrade worth it to unlock the true elite performance? Stick around because we're diving deep into the one specification AYN doesn't want you to focus on. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're dissecting the AYN Odin 3. This device isn't just an upgrade, it's a generational leap running Android 15 out of the box. But to understand the trap, you first need to see the raw power it's packing. Let's talk about the heart of this machine, the Snapdragon 8 Elite and the Adreno 830 GPU. This is the new mobile king. Compared to the Odin 2's Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, the raw numbers are insane. We're talking about an almost 60% increase in single-core CPU performance and an 80% increase in multi-core. But the GPU is where the magic happens. The Adreno 830 delivers a jaw-dropping 166% better graphics performance than the previous generation. This isn't just for native Android games like Wuthering Waves. This is for Switch and PS3 emulation. The door has officially been kicked down. But that Elite performance has a price thermals and battery. The 8 Elite chip has a potential TDP of up to 35W. The Odin 2 topped out around 8W. Despite a massive 8000 milliampere battery, if AYN truly lets this chip fly for max performance, your continuous heavy gaming time could drop from the praised Odin 2 longevity to possibly only 3 to 5 hours. Elite speed means shorter life. That is your first crucial trade-off. Now let's talk about the configuration strategy that AYN implemented to maximize their profit, and it all comes down to storage. The Odin 3 comes in four main versions, Base, Pro, Max, and Ultra. The base version is priced attractively at $329, but here is the critical detail. The base model is limited to UFS 3.1 storage. The Pro, Max, and Ultra models use the significantly faster UFS 4.0 standard. Why does this matter? Look at the numbers. UFS 4.0 doubles the max read speed to 4200 megabytes per second and improves write speed by 133%. This isn't just about faster downloads. In high-end emulation, faster I.O. is essential for quick shader compilation, texture loading, and eliminating stuttering. AYN has paired their Elite Performance chip with a bottlenecked storage speed in the base model. This creates an inefficient setup. To unlock the true sustained performance of the 8 Elite, you must have UFS 4.0. That means you need to spend an extra $70 to upgrade to the Pro model. That $70 gives you 4GB more RAM, 128GB more capacity, and most importantly, the UFS 4.0 speed. This is a calculated sales strategy, and for the performance-focused buyer, it's a necessary upgrade. Beyond raw power, the Odin 3 delivers a genuinely premium experience. First, the screen, a 6-inch, 120Hz AMOLED. This is superior to the LCD screens found on many competitors. You get true blacks, incredible contrast, and super smooth motion. Second, connectivity. It features Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 6.0. Wi-Fi 7 isn't just faster, nearly five times faster than Wi-Fi 6. It's the key to the future of cloud gaming. It offers ultra-low latency, less than one millisecond. If you use services like GeForce Now Ultimate, this drastically eliminates lag and gives you a competitive edge. Bluetooth 6.0 offers similar improvements for peripherals, ensuring better stability and low latency audio. The base model is priced attractively at $329, but the cost difference between the base and the Pro is only $70. Our final strategic recommendation is clear. Avoid the base model.
the Pro 12 Gig 256 Gig is the optimal value. It unlocks the essential UFS 4.0 speed, giving you enough RAM for all current and future emulation needs, and provides the best balance between elite performance and total investment. If you need maximum storage for PC emulation or large game libraries, go for the Max 16 Gig 512 Gig. The AYN Odin 3 is a groundbreaking handheld. It delivers a 166% leap in graphics power, an excellent AMOLED display, and future-proof connectivity. But be mindful of two key trade-offs, the shorter battery life under heavy load and the critical UFS 3.1 bottleneck in the base model. This device is tailor-made for those who want near-perfect Switch and PS3 emulation on an Android handheld. The power is there. You just need to ensure you configure the purchase correctly by stepping up to UFS 4.0.